Well, this is a one-word answer, really, divorce. But if you try explaining that to the average woman, and ladies, you're all average, she doesn't understand it. I've actually seen this. Uh, the woman's, she, her brow tends to furrow. She looks very confused, extremely perplexed. And then she, she sort of, they don't, they, don't, they don't look you in the eye. They look away from you. And you know that the machinations and thoughts that are going on in their minds are just messed up. Everything is based on emotion. Their eyes even glaze over. And then you get the, you get stupid shit like this. Well, if you were truly in love with someone, you you wouldn't think like that. Well, if you truly, I wonder, women, would you, if these circumstances today that men face throughout the Western world, if these circumstances were reversed and you faced the same penalties in the event of a divorce as men do, and you you were the one who, in the vast majority of cases, you lost your house and home, your property, your pension, your children, worst of all, of course your savings, and men's savings can and often are taken away from them, and you face false accusations of domestic violence. Domestic violence, of course, has nothing to do with gender whatsoever. It's an even, it's a two-way street. There are just as many violent women as there are men. Everyone knows the most child abuse is committed by women. That's a fact borne out by, I don't know, all the statistics I've ever seen, including social service statistics. So if you if you faced all of this, and indeed the potential of never seeing your children again and having to watch your parents go through the heartache of also being denied access because there are Lord knows countless, countless thousands of grandparents in this country who have been denied access to their grandchildren whilst the, the children's minds are poisoned by the woman. Uh, it's, a, it's almost as painful for grandparents as it is for fathers and indeed of course for the children themselves. And anyone working in the Western world's divorce system, divorce systems tell anyone who tries to tell you that the primary interest of the court is the welfare of the children is either new to the game, totally deluded, or as it's far more likely, just lying through their teeth. Now, you look at what feminazi groups and feminists and the man-hating bitches of the media have been demanding for women for decades now. And they go on and on and on. Rights, choices, options, control, empowerment, and all sorts of other bloody buzzwords. Control, empowerment. Think about that. Think about it again. Control, empowerment. Yeah, that's right. You want the control in the relationship, don't you, women? You want all the empowerment. You want all the rights, all the choices, all the options, but none of the responsibilities, of course, apart from, oh, well, I'll look after the children once I've stolen them from him. Well, no, that is not an option that most men are going to take. So, you know exactly where you can shove your empowerment, ladies, and uh, you won't get pregnant through that hole. And I'm really kept up on the news of whether or not uh, anyone other than the, the people invo directly involved are allowed in, in British divorce courts yet. There were proposals, I think, previously that the media should be allowed into the divorce courts. This is, the, this is the same lying, repugnant media that every time they talk about domestic violence, they lie by omission. They lie by not telling the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth as far as they can, as they can ascertain it. They're just liars. They perjure themselves every time they speak about this subject. And if they were in a court of law as witnesses, they'd all get, I think you can get up to seven years for perjury. And uh, these people that lie in their media columns on TV programs uh, in, in, a, in a court you are, you're supposed to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth as far as you know it and if you deviate from that in any way whatsoever you don't tell the whole truth and that's where the media are liars they don't tell the whole truth they're not going to tell you that most child abuse is committed by women they're not going to tell you that all sorts of surveys suggest that that men are more likely than women to be domestic violence victims and uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the, in the comments section. And these evil bastards and bitches of the media, because the domestic violence industry, which is a racket, it is an industry and it is a racket. It complements the divorce industry, which is also uh, just that. It is an industry and it is a racket and it exists solely in order to perpetuate its own existence 
and to destroy the family as quickly as they possibly can. This is clearly highly organised and it is totally calculated right throughout the Western world. Who's behind all of this? I don't know. The legal lobby, have it, they have an incredibly powerful lobby. The feminist lobby is incredibly powerful. The media, of course, is the biggest lobby of all. And, and these lying media scum, they want access to the divorce courts so that they can continue censoring and lying and covering, it, covering up what they've been covering up for decades anyway. If you gave me control of, of one of those man-hating daytime debate shows for a year, I could fill that place every bloody day with victims of the divorce courts, grandparents, children who've now grown up, fathers, and I could fill it every day, and that would go on in perpetuity. You know, there's an inexhaustible supply of these victims all the time. So, media, fuck yourself. And as far as you're concerned, ladies, uh, you, you, you carry on like this, well, fine. Okay, that's the end of your ancestral lineage. That's if you don't want to listen to what men have to say and what MGTOWs have to say, that's your genealogical bloodline, literally in your case, your eggs, flush down the goddamn toilet into the sewer. And of course, we all know who works down there. Don't tell me, ladies. They're down there with the men are down there with all the other dirty rats. Yeah, trampling in shit and condoms and tampons and fuck knows what and trampling all over your fucking eggs as well. And you're going to waste every one of them. Drip, drip, drip. What a month. Prenuptial agreements should be the norm. And at this moment in time in the Western world, they're not worth a goddamn, unless possibly you're stinking rich or something like that. Prenups should be able to bypass the divorce courts, bypass the divorce system. In other words, bypass the legal lobby. And that isn't gonna, that's not going to happen any time too soon, because I guarantee you, they have an astonishing, astonishingly powerful lobby in Parliament. And women, until I'd actually say to any man who wants to disagree with what I'm saying, you ever end up in the, you're stupid enough to get married, you end up in the divorce court, take my word for it. Your soon-to-be ex-wife holds all the cards in the pack, bar one. You have just one card to play, and that's the joker. Because the media, feminist organisations, but most of all the media and countless millions of women, that's exactly what you've been turned into. A fucking joke. And you can see your stupid selves played out as a joke in adverts, comedies, films, you name it, women's everyday conversations. Anyway, I've ranted on more than I, uh, I wanted to, so I'm going to close there. Thank you.